Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, my avatar looks stupid. I got this for like 40 Robux on the website. Anyway, I'll be showing you the best accessories for each C in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into it. So for first C, one out of the two accessories you should get is the black cape. The black cape is right here. As you can see, it's just a regular cape. It gives 5% global damage, like on everything, 100 energy, 100 health. And you can get it for only 50,000 belly. You can find the guy selling it in the first sea at the marine island where Whitebeard spawns and the marine captain boss is. On one of the big pillars to the right of the island, if you go all the way to the top inside it, uh, you walk inside, you drop down, and you can buy it from the guy there. The second item I do not have. It's called the Cool Shades. It is a 1-2% to drop from the Cyborg boss, and gives 17.5% extra speed, 7.5% damage on everything, 100 and energy and 100 health so it's like a upgrade to the cape but since it's a one to two percent drop from the cyborg boss which is the last boss in first c then it's not really practical getting i recommend you don't get that one and you stay with the black cape until you're in second c for your second c accessory there is only one and that is the swan glasses that's right, right here. <laughs> it looks funny with my other glasses on. The Swan Glasses is a 2.5% drop chance from the Don Swan boss. And to get to the Don Swan boss, you go to the cafe and you can see the big mansion on top of the wall. Go there, talk to the guy there and give him a fruit worth 1 million or more. Then you can go inside the mansion and fight the Don Swan boss, which as I said has a 2.5 chance of dropping the shades. The shades are really good. They've got 8% bonus damage, 8% defense, 8% cooldown reduction, 25% extra speed, 250 energy and 250 health. That's like everything you need. So if you can get your hands on that one, you better do it. Now for the third C. There are two accessories. The first accessory is the Hunter Cape. As you can see, there's three colors, red, green, and black. We'll just put on the black one right now. There we go. So to get the Hunter Cape, you need to fight an elite enemy, which has a chance to drop uh, one of the three Hunter Capes and also one of the three bandanas. The Hunter Capes give 10% damage to melee, sword, and gun attacks, 80% speed, because I'm not mink and I'm really fast right now, and 750 health. Then bandanas are also good, but they give 750 energy, which in my opinion is not as good as the health. To find the elite enemy, you come talk to the elite hunter, you ask him for a thing, now, they don't have a quest right now, so an elite enemy isn't spawned. If they do have a quest, they'll tell you who it is and what island they are on. So sometimes they can be on the Hydra Island, the Great Tree, Floating Turtle Island, or finally, Port Island. Those are all the islands that the elite enemies can spawn on. Now the final accessory and one I love the most is, that's right, the Pale Scarf. You can get the Pale Scarf from the Cake Prince or Doe King boss, either one. They can be spawned practically the same, which is by going to the islands over here, which is the candy castle and stuff. Kill 500 enemies on the islands and then talk to the Drip Mama, I think the NPC's name is, to spawn the dimension. You go in and you fight either Cake Prince or if you've got the Sweet Chalice, 
the Doe King. It's got a small chance to drop the Pale Scarf. Now the Pale Scarf is my favorite because not only does it give 15% damage to fruit and sword, it also gives two extra observation dodges and a 10 times larger observation range. So since I'm standing right in the sea castle, I could see anyone across the map from here. Their name would pop up if they were in the haunted castle, if they were in the candy islands, in Hydra, in floating turtle or in port. I could see all of them. That's really overpowered, especially if you want to run away from people and you can see people chasing you or if you're a bounty hunter and you want to find people extremely easily. Now let me just change servers and show you how good it is. All right, so I am here, turn on my observation, and as you can see, I can see people in Hydra. Uh, obviously I can see people in here. I can see everyone who's in Candy Islands. Oh wow, I think they're all hackers. And no one's in Floating Turtle and no one's in Haunted Castle or Port. So if that doesn't show you how good this accessory is, then I don't know what will. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.